At one point in time, Matt Harvey was looked at as one of the best pitchers in baseball. That point in time didn't last very long, as Harvey had one really great year in 2013, becoming an all-star, wind up getting Tommy John surgery and missing out on the 2014 season, and then had a great 2015 season, helping lead the Mets all the way to the World Series. But after that, we've yet to see that version of Matt Harvey we saw in the first couple of years, the Dark Knight, as many called him. At 27 years old and pitching in just his third ever full season in the major leagues, Harvey started to regress as if he was 10 years older with as many more more seasons full of innings pitch under his belt. It just didn't make much sense. Skip ahead to April of 2018 and Harvey was taken out of the Mets rotation, getting placed as a reliever only to give up two hits and a run in two innings out of the bullpen, refusing to talk to the media after the game and about two weeks later refused to get sent down to the minor leagues. This all prompted the Mets to designate him for assignment, jump starting Harvey's journey with several other teams throughout the league. Harvey soon got traded to the Reds for virtually no return coming back to the Mets, where he would throw 128 innings with a 4.5 ERA. Not that bad if you want to compare how he did with the Mets in 2016, 17, and for the beginning of 2018, but still not great, with him becoming a free agent after 2018. The Angels then saw that they had a chance at overpaying for someone, especially a mediocre pitcher at best, so they jumped all over Harvey, giving him $11 million for one year, only to release him in July after putting up an ERA north of 7 in Anaheim, signing a minor league deal with Oakland and becoming a free agent yet again where he'd sign with the Royals on a minor league deal, putting up an ERA of over 11 in 7 appearances in 2020, signing a minor league deal with the Orioles, getting placed on the 40-man roster before the 2021 season before throwing 127 in two-thirds innings with a 6.27 ERA. Since the beginning of his career all the way to now, Harvey's velocity has dropped more than 3 miles an hour. And I guess that's normal, but his spin rate was also incredibly down. And he's of course having the type of results you would expect out of someone who's regressed a ton. But it's really bad, and it's weird to think that this just happened out of nowhere, and there's unfortunately a lot more to this than we originally thought. After the tragic death of Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs in 2019 due to drugs, Harvey, who was Skaggs' teammate in 19, testified in court, revealing some things. Harvey admitted that he gave Skaggs pills in the clubhouse that contributed to his eventual death claiming that he got them from a hockey player who he wouldn't name, and went on to explain why he thought at the time it was being a good teammate to give pills to Skaggs, considering players are always desperate to stay on the field and play through injuries. I'm not going to go into any more details about the Skaggs case, so I will leave a link in the description below about it, but as far as Harvey goes, there's more. While he was on the Mets, there was concern about Harvey and the amount of partying that he was doing. For example, Harvey was suspended for three games by the Mets for failing to show up to a game in 2017, with it soon being revealed that he was at a Cinco de Mayo party the night before until 4 a.m. And at the beginning of May in 2018, the Mets were in San Diego for a road series, and before one of the games, Harvey went over to a party in Los Angeles. You have some red flags there, sure, and this has all been stuff the public has known about for a while now. But during the recent trial, Harvey revealed that he used coke among other substances during his seven-year run with the Mets. According to former ESPN reporter Adam Rubin, the team, along with Harvey's agent, did try to help him with his addiction and drug issues. When asked about Harvey's drug use in a recent interview with the New York Post, former Mets manager Terry Collins admitted that he wasn't surprised to hear that Harvey had been doing such a thing while on the Mets. According to Collins, there were accusations going around the clubhouse, but just no proof to back any of those accusations up, with there even being a time when Collins addressed an off-the-field issue with one of the other guys on the team, with the unnamed player saying, well, I'm not doing what Matt Harvey is doing. Collins knew that there was knowledge in the clubhouse about Harvey's issues, but since there was a testing program going on through Major League Baseball and he had only heard rumors, there wasn't much he could do about it. WFAN host Craig Carton had a really messed up story on Harvey involving him and a woman. Years ago, Carton was randomly contacted by a woman who sent videos of Harvey in his own apartment, threatening to blackmail him and expose his heavy use of coke, with her looking to make $100,000 from it. According to Carton, this 
this is all before post-2015, meaning this was going on when Harvey was the quote-unquote Dark Knight and superstar with the New York Mets. The woman clearly had no care in the world for Harvey and his addiction that she of course knew about, just wanting money out of it. It's pretty disgusting. While on the Mets, Harvey even talked about ending his life, and when asked if he lied about his drug use that took place at parties, his own place, the clubhouse, and even dugout during games, his answer was no because nobody ever really asked, which of course is another issue in itself. Looking back, when Harvey made a start against the White Sox back in 2013 with a bloody nose, and then again against the Dodgers in 2015, it really makes sense now. You never know what someone is going through, and if you don't believe me, here is a clip from 2016 when Matt Harvey was on the Andy Cohen show. Never have I ever tried cocaine. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Okay, of course he has not touched drugs ever. Okay. The Mets aren't prone to teams with drug issues, with the 1986 championship team known for their rampant coke use. In fact, it was said that if you didn't use coke on that team, you were an outcast. The more recent scenario is of course a lot different, but nonetheless still awful. The entire situation is just awful, and something that should simply never happen, but just does too often. I'm going to end this video by saying if you or someone you love has a drug addiction or any kind of mental health issue, get help. Immediately. This stuff is no joke, and it ruins if not ends people's lives all the time. Matt Harvey now has the possibility of being suspended by Major League Baseball, not for his drug use, but for his distribution of the drugs that contributed to the late Tyler Skaggs' death. Don't do drugs, and if you have any sort of mental health issue, do not be afraid to seek help.